Hi there folks, this is Adam with 8 Badge Gaming coming to you today with the third game in our Baby Buzzwall series. I do apologize that this game is in particular a little late, but that's because we did run into some recording issues. And it looks like we've gotten paired off against a Zoroark Glissopod deck by the looks of it here today. Um, I know a lot of people have been talking about how that's currently the best deck in format. According to a lot of people overall, uh, we lost the flip here, uh, so it looks like we're going to be going second. Uh, we're totally fine going second with this deck. Uh, we're usually pretty well situated to be able to uh, attack, essentially, on a first turn, uh, and attack pretty sufficiently here as well. We are starting a uh, DNC here today uh, in this particular match, but I think that's going to be fine because of our Lele in hand. Uh, we have our Max Elixir capability and our Float Stone here as well. Um, so we're going to see now our opponents thrown down some Zoroas here. Uh, let's see if they do have a draw supporter or not. They had a Bridget, so they're going to try and fill up their bench entirely here. Uh, it looks like they didn't have the Tapu Coco promo that the deck is usually looking to have there. So let's have a look here now. So I think we're going to go for our Lele first, and we're going to see what we have prized. Now, let's go through our supporters. We've got one of our ends in hand. Uh, we've got one of our Sycamores in hand. So we've got Remoraid and Octillery. Uh, we're probably going for a Cynthia here. We don't want to end to give our opponent card advantage in any way. So let's check off our list. We've already got the DNC, the Rock Rock, the Lycan Rock. We have... Uh, our Reggie Rock, our Artillery, so it looks like none of our Pokemon are prized. We do have a Ring prized, one of the Max Elixirs in hand. We've got an Ultra Ball prized, a Hill is prized, uh, one of our Choice Bands, uh, and it looks like two of our, or one of our Floats, uh, and one of our Energy. Uh, so we've got a Fighting Energy prize there as well. So that should be our six prizes. So we're going to attach a Floatstone here, and we're just going to go cynthia -ing for a better hand here. Uh, let's see, we got ourselves a Brooklet Hill, which lets us go for a Buzzwall GX here. Uh, we can then use the free retreat now off the DNC because of the float stone, put up our buzz wall, throw an energy down on the buzz wall, and now we're going to go jet punching. So we're going to jet punch and we're going to take a KO on a Zoroa, and we're going to put 30 damage on a benched Zoroa there as well. We didn't need to put the strong energy down just yet, uh, and that's mainly because we do have the DNC on the bench, so we are still going to be one-shotting on a Zora either way, uh, and if we can get the Wimpod up here as well, then we're going to be able to attach the Strong and go for a KO. So he does have the Ultra Ball to go for the Mew EX, uh, does he have the DCE and the Zoroark? He probably has a draw supporter of some sort here, uh, a Sycamore. So he's looking to hit a way to get his Zorua out of the active, and then get a DCE onto his Mew, uh, and evolve into a Zoroark. And he did not have it, so let's see. Uh, let's go uh, Remoraid here. Um, we're going to keep the Float Stone in hand here for now. We don't want to necessarily end here. Um, but it might be a good idea. So let's see, if we were to... What would we Ultra Ball if we were to Ultra Ball for anything? Because we can simply just use the Brooklet. And I think we use the Brooklet to go for... Uh, I think a Baby Buzz Wall here. Um, now let's see... Baby Buzz Wall, and then we're going to... Ultra Ball, I think, pitching the N and the Float Stone. And we're going to go for an Octillery here. Uh, we want to be able to suit up our Remoraid, basically, and the card draw off the Octillery is better than the N. Um, and while we can't evolve this turn, 
Uh, we're going to keep the energy in hand, and we're going to go for a Jet Punch going for a KO on the Zorua. And we're going to put 30 damage on another Zorua here as well. So we're going to take our second prize. Uh, this is the Choice Band that we mentioned earlier. Um, I didn't keep track of what our first prize that we took there was, but I suppose we'll get that figured out here along the way. So we do have the seal blower here, so I'm kind of glad I didn't throw down the other float, because that just likely would have been blown off there as well. Um, if our opponent doesn't end here, yeah, we're totally fine with that. Uh, we'll just look at a different four. It's kind of sad, I probably should have uh, realized that I laid the Remory this turn. That's a bit of a misplay on my part there. And we do have a Buzzwall followed up by a Super Rod and two Energy. So we're going to see a Ultra Ball here now for the Zoroark. He likely has the DCE or he's digging for it. If he doesn't have the DCE, I doubt he would have promoted the Mew here. But we're going to be able to take a KO on the Mew in response with the Baby Buzzwall. And it looks like we actually did get the victory here because our opponent didn't have the DCE uh, to be able to knock out our Buzzwall. So I guess we'll actually go ahead and hop on into a second game there. Uh, just where this was only about a five minute game overall. Actually, I'm looking at the recording time. We're actually at only six minutes. So we'll do a second game here to uh, keep the games flying there for you. So this will actually be our fourth game in the Baby Buzzball series. We'll hop on into the queue and it looks like we're paired up against another Zoroark Glissopod deck. Um, so it seems to be double pod here this morning uh, and we did win the flip so we would like to take the first turn here. Uh, hopefully we get a pretty decent start here as well and unfortunately we are starting a Lele. Um, this is not what we like to see. Uh, the Super Rod in hand as well, with the only draw supporter being a Sycamore. No ability to go for a different draw supporter with the Lele in hand. Uh, we're a little behind here to start. Um, now, we might just get aggressive and worry possibly just toss the energy to the Ultra Ball, uh, toss the Guzma as well. We go for uh, probably a Buzzwall GX, uh, attach the Strong to it, and there's a second Guzma. Alright, so it looks like we have to be aggressive here. I'm sad to be discarding those Guzmas. They're probably going to be uh, very handy later. Uh, we're going to go for a Buzzwall uh, prize-wise. It looks like we've got a baby Buzzwall uh, prized here. We have uh, one of our Guzmas because we've had the other two, one of our ends. Uh, Sycamore is in hand. Two of our choice uh, are prized, which is kind of bad for us. Uh, and what would be our last prize? Is it potentially one of our one ofs? Uh, the Octillery. So we definitely don't want to be using the Ultra Ball to go for Remory then. We're going to go for Buzzwall GX. Uh, we're going to throw down the Buzzwall. We're going to Super Rod to shuffle the energy back in because we want to make sure we hit those Max Elixirs. Uh, we're going to attach a Strong, and then we're going to Sycamore here. Uh, we did hit a Floatstone and a Max Elixir, as well as a Baby Buzzwall. Let's go for the Max Elixir here, which we did hit. Uh, we're going to put it on Big Daddy Buzzwall here. Um, and I think we're going to pass back. We're going to keep ourselves with five cards in hand, and we're not going to open ourselves up to a... Uh, field blower taking the float stone off of our Lele. Uh, we don't want to put our active up here yet either because we don't want to go for any damage that we don't initially need on our buzz walls. Uh, we tr aren't going to really be one shot by anything in their deck other than the Mew, uh, and that's if they do have the Mew. So let's see here now. He is using a Lele to go for a Bridget. We're likely seeing a Bridget here for Zoroa Zoroa Wimpod. Um, it's exactly that. Depending on whether he has a DCE and whether he wants to put it on the Coco, I don't think he does. Uh, the numbers don't really become relevant, um, unless he's looking to potentially crossing cut GX a Tapu Lele. 
So let's see here now. Um, we did draw Cynthia, so let's go float stone here. Uh, we're going to attach an energy here, and then we're going to Cynthia. We're going to go for a new hand of cards. A Brooklet Hill would be nice, uh, but we didn't get it. We did get the baby buzzball, which lets us set up for the following turn. Um, we don't want to absorption. <sighs> But if we don't absorption, then he's able to just KO us. Uh, not KO us, but get additional damage on our Pokemon. Because right now we're hitting for 30 plus 20 is 50, which isn't a KO. So let's go ahead and retreat. Uh, we're going to retreat into the Buzzwall. We're going to go for a Jet Punch. And we're just going to put 30 damage onto one of the Zoroas here. We're going to force him to evolve that particular Zorba, um, and we're going to see if he does have the Mew counter here. Uh, he did have the Field Blower. Um, we are in a bit of a bad position here just because of the Beast Ring uh, being stuck in hand. Uh, if they do take out our Buzzwall, the Beast Ring is only suiting up a baby Buzzwall rather than a regular one, which isn't exactly where we want to be. Uh, having three energies in hand isn't exactly where we want to be either. Um, and we're going to see him likely dive deep now. Uh, Parallel City? I think we're actually fine with that, and a flying slip. So now, what can we do? We can attach an energy. We Oh, we've got ourselves Brooklet Hill. So Brooklet Hill uh, might moot this whole situation. Then we're going to use Brooklet Hill to go for our Deancey. Um, we're going to attach an energy to the Lele. We're going to Guzma up the Galissapod here. We're going to retreat our Lele here now uh, into the Buzzwall, and we're going to Absorption GX for a KO. So let me make sure that our math is right. Yep, so Absorption GX, and we're going to take a KO on the Glissopod. So our prizes were the third baby Buzzwall, one of our choice bands. Um, he is going to be able to get in another softening attack here now with the Coco, um, but we are going to be able to take out um, the Zoroark here. So he is going to Mallow, likely going for Mew DCE, because um, he's going to want to be able to... No, he didn't. That's actually surprising there, uh, unless his Mew was prized. He did go for another Zoroark. He does have a Wimpod here as a follow-up, and he's going to fly and flip, weakening up our bench here again. So I think at this point we want to go ahead and attach an energy here. Um, we will go look at Brooklet Hilling, uh, and I think what we want to do is go for another regular Buzzwall. We've got our one energy and our baby Buzzwall, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we're going to then go ahead and we're going to Jet Punch, and we're going to put the 30 damage on to the Wimpod here, uh, just because it means that we'll be able to take a KO with a Knuckle Impact on an Evolved Glissopod if necessary. So we're going to take another prize here, and that's our Guzma, which is going to be pretty useful, I do believe, because our opponent right now would need a significantly good set of draws to get them out of the situation. Oh, them having the Mew EX in hand is not great for them. Uh, let's see, he's trading off again, getting rid of another puzzle of time. So he's actually traded away two puzzles, which I think we're totally fine with. Uh, the Enhanced Hammer is a little sad, because it means that we're going to need to invest in energy on the buzz wall there now. Um, but it looks like the Eva Soto missed. Our opponent is empty-handed. And if we have an energy now, we're going to be able to knuckle impact. And we do have the energy. Um, our opponent is actually going to scoop it up. We were extremely far ahead in that game. So I'm not terribly surprised that they scooped that up there. Um, we were going to be taking a KO on their Zoroark, uh, leaving us down to just needing to take a single prize. Um, and a single prize isn't too hard to take with this deck, uh, especially if they knock out the Buzzwall in the active. The baby Buzzwall is going to be able to come up and then take a KO then in response. So that was the 
clue up then of our second match in this video of Zoroark Glissopod. Uh, we'll be getting this video uploaded for you immediately. Uh, we do always appreciate your viewership. I do hope you enjoyed watching these games here today, and I look forward to seeing your comments and seeing your views on our future videos as well. Uh, with that said, thank you again, and this is Adam with 8 Badge Gaming signing off.